level 31 hunter. Nine levels to go. Oh, is this the one? It is the one level 40 hunter. We now have access to three traps. So I think it's time to check out Chinchampas. coming in let's go level 49 hunter let's go level 50 hunter wow this is actually this is going pretty quick Just like that, we are level 74 hunter, which means we can get ourselves a brand new fancy sign of life. Let's go. Level 70 farming, another skill in the 70s. I'm feeling good about this one. Okay, this was a four barrows run trip. Got the whole reaper done in one go. I think honestly, we could probably do a fifth as well, so. It's good to know our setup's getting a little stronger. Let's check the loot. Eh, you know what? I'll take it. It's uh, it's good for the Vizwax. Dragon Medhelm. I feel like that's really rare, but that's okay. I'll take my two Reaper points any day of the week. Soon as I'm through this task, that should be the final task we get through Kaldar. And uh, yeah, we're moving up in the world. So the main difference between Kaldar and Simona. Simona has a lot of really bad tasks, but also has access to both Fire Giants and Hellhounds, which are two of the best experienced tasks from Melee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and prefer those two tasks and then just get those as many times as I can. Our first task with Simona. What do you got for me? Can now do crest bots, except I don't have any of the wrecks for them. Also, I wonder if I get another black mask. No! Three, and two! Please, get there! Dude. Simona, we've done a whole day at Simona and we have not gotten the type of task I was looking for. So I hope it works out. Iron Dragons. They are the bane of so many hardcore Iron Men. And we're taking it. I've got an Iron Dragon task and now I've got an Iron Dragon mask. Spiritual Warriors task. I don't have access to God Wars, so we're gonna have to get that first, but I think it's a pretty good task. Rip. Poor trolls, man. What did they do to deserve? They actually did a lot of bad stuff. Here we go. We go into God Wars. I have no idea why these things have the drops that they drop, but they literally drop double huge rune salvage. So that's 80k at a time, and it's like not rare at all. I made just under 2 million coins from a single slayer task. These things are busted. Guys, there's always gonna be a smithing level. That's level 39. One more level till we get to do the exact same thing in a slightly different location. Feels good, man. 45 divination isn't an objectively important level, but when you're doing caches, it allows you to grab the tier two stuff and also take out the confused automatons, so it should make caches a little bit less tedious. So I'm AFK in, right? I go, I make dinner, I come back, what is that in my invent? That's that's kind of weird. It's it's the mining pet. I I missed me getting the mining pet. Then again, the noodles I made were delicious. So you know what? I, 
Was it worth it? I don't know. Would have liked to have seen myself getting the pet, but that is actually the first time I've ever received the Rocky pet on any account ever. So we're going to inspect it right now. And, uh, yeah. I guess I know what my favorite task is now. Glad I put it on the prefer list. This is absolutely busted. Level 74 attack. Level 74 constitution coming in. I'd like to report a, a case of stream sniping. Um... She's actually cra she's actually crashing me. That is level 70 Slayer coming in. An absolute milestone level right there. We now have access to Kurasks, which I don't even know if they're that good of a task, but level 70, the next big monster unlock, I believe, is Skeletal Wyverns at 72. And then it's Gargoyles after that at 75, which are, I believe, some of the best TP per hour from a Slayer task in the entire game just from Alex. So absolutely beautiful progress right now. Another skill in the 70s. Let's keep it going. Level 75 attack. We can finally equip the god sword we got in the last video. Just kidding. I like that you've got Zezma added. So I have him added because he, uh, he basically hopped into voice chat the other night. And then he private called me on Discord and he spoke to me, the real Zezima. Do I get anything out of that? I don't, but it's it's a nice round level. I am quite happy with that. That is level 72 Slayer coming in. We now have access to Skeletal Wyverns, which are apparently terrible. So, you know, hopefully we won't get any of those. That is level 79 attack. The Slay Day continues. One more level until we get to upgrade our weaponry. That is the end of the Slayer assignment. We are level 73 Slayer for Jungle Strike Worms now as well, so we can actually start working on our full Slayer helmet. That is level 80 attack coming in. That's actually such a big level. That's unreal that we managed to get that done. All right, let's get out of here. Let's upgrade our weapons to the Baneite stuff, and let's go get a fire cape. Click on it. Bane weapon relate there. Actually, a lot of other cool things too, to be fair. It actually looks so sick. Oh my god, it's so cool. Oh, I love the look of that. Okay, this is Ryan from the future. First off, the fight caves are a safe death, so don't worry, I, I didn't lose a life here. But I was trying to melee the Jad. There was a super weird hit delay where the range hit hit me, and then I flicked back to melee prayer like what you're supposed to do, and then it hit me anyway. So anyway, I don't know why the Jads in the fight kiln are not delayed like this, but in the fight caves, if you melee the Jad, be a little careful because the range hit delay is super, super weird and I ended up losing my life to it. Well, not like a life on my hardcore, but like I, I died. It's a safe death. So yeah, I guess all that combat training was for nothing. We're going to end up doing this entire thing with the Guthic staff. All right, guys, it's fight caves time. All right, the last one was just a prank. All right, it was just a prank. That's level 73 magic coming in. Two more levels till I can quest, get the Vanquisher's staff, and then do a little more damage than sticking to the Gothic staff. Also, this next clip is for all the people who say you can't prayer flick in RuneScape 3. One prayer point. I still have one prayer point. Big prayer flick. All right, boys, I think I, I should probably drink a prayer potion now. That was fun, though. That was a lot of fun. We made it to 39 waves without running out of prayer. One shark, one restore, one wave 50. It's going so much better than the last attempt. I was foolish to expect it would go perfect the first try without, you know, planning anything out. Okay, buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Okay, we're fine. Not a problem. Oh, yes, it is a problem. Oh, you hate to see it. Oh, no. No, no, please block for me, buddy. No! Oh, that's so unlucky. Oh, God. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip in. I'm dipping. Screw this, dude. Nope. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Help, help, help. That's so rude. This is the most stocked I will ever be for a fight cave attempt. I've used two restores. I've got a super magic pot. I haven't touched my bruise. I've used two sharks. If we're getting this at all, it's gonna be right now. I'm 
so nervous. It shouldn't be, because, like, it's not hard. But it's just like, you know, it took so freaking long to get here, you know? Like, you know how much it would suck if I would just, like, plank right here? You feel it? Like, it would really be a feels bad, man. Got it. Whoo! Okay! Not gonna lie, feeling pretty good about myself. We could have done the fire cape, like, before all the Slayer training, because we ended up doing it with magic anyway, but... Still, I'm glad we got it done. It's important. Next step is the Kiln Cape, which I have a feeling is going to be a tiny little bit tougher, but it's best in slot, so we'll have to get there. Um.